We're recording this conversation in November 2021. A year from now, the world changes. The implementation of ISO 20022 to replace MT as the language of global payments is really going to shake things up. It's a difficult transition involving everybody involved in the payments chain, from payments operations people, product management, right the way through to the people who provide and maintain and operate the systems and technology that we use. A lot has been written about ISO 20022 as a theoretical benefit, but the conversations about ISO 20022 have been rather quieter. Bijou from Fiorono Software and I, Andrew Muir from Nth Exception, have enjoyed many conversations about ISO 2002 implementation over the last few months, and we thought it would be a good idea, perhaps, to publish some of these conversations so that you were able to join in. We hope very much to participate in those chats and to develop them further as we investigate more layers of detail under the complex but wonderful world of ISO 2002 implementation. We really hope you enjoy it. The third elephant we spoke about was Spike. Uh, Spike refers, of course, to the almost invariably unfortunate uh, problem that an exception isn't going to affect a single transaction. It's probably going to affect a whole string of transactions with the same conditions or from the same source. Uh, and that problem is going to happen, according to Murphy's Law, within a few minutes of the cutoff point for settlement in that currency on that day. So, yeah, how are we going to resolve exceptions that suddenly arrive at critical points in time just before a cutoff point? Maybe that isn't something that can always be sorted out in time, but then what does that do to you? What does that do to liquidity? What does that do to your customer relationship? What does that do to the transactions that are hanging on successful conclusion uh, of this problem, whatever it is? So jumbo, testing, trumpet, problem detection and resolution, and spike, what happens when a problem surfaces in huge quantities at a critical point in time. Those are, I think, three elephants in the ISO 2002 room uh, that deserve a little more attention than they've been getting up to now. Absolutely, and I love the names you gave to them, Andrew, and absolutely agree they're not being spoken about enough. Right? And I think it's very important that the, that the world starts really thinking on those lines because these are real-world problems that we're going to see.